Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Today I am back with a spring fashion haul for you guys. I think the last one that I did was fall slash winter. So it's been a little bit and the past couple of days I've been really organizing my closet. Trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and just trying to organize everything, making it look all nice. So I figured today I would film in my closet. This week it's supposed to get like 80, 90 degrees in New Jersey, which is crazy because I feel like it's just been really, really cold. Like I've still been wearing sweatshirts and jackets and all that. So I don't know how much of a spring we're going to get. So I wanted to show you some of the pieces that I recently picked up. So if you guys want to see what they are, then please keep watching. So this first little cropped tee is a Baywatch tee. It's really funny because I got this probably about two weeks ago on Urban Outfitters. And on Mother's Day, we went to go see a movie with my mom, my grandma, uh, my sister, and then our boyfriends. And I saw that Baywatch is coming out. Like there's a new movie coming out with I think The Rock and Zac Efron. So I already had this and then I saw it and I'm like, oh, perfect timing. So when I saw this shirt, I wanted to get it because... A, in the summertime, especially if I'm going to the beach or like a pool or something like that, I always, always wear just like high-waisted jeans and then like a cute crop tank over my bathing suit. So I bought a pair of orange high-waisted shorts to go with it. I saw it on the model together and I thought it looked really cute. The next item is this white flowy dress. I really, really love this year. I bought a few shirts the past couple of months with these long sleeves and it's funny because I think when I was in like fifth grade... Yeah, it had to have been 5th or 6th grade. This is a random story, but I just thought about it, so I figured I would tell you. So, I had a shirt very similar to this with, like, the very tight sleeves and then the flowy arms. And I wore it to school, and I stole one of my sister's bras. Like, I literally had no boobs. I was completely flat, and I wore one of her padded bras with the shirt. And I put a sweatshirt over it, and I snuck out because I knew my mom would be like, um, what are you doing? And I went to school with it, and I think everyone made fun of me, and everyone was like, where did those boobs come from? Yeah, so that happened. It's funny how I'm seeing so many trends coming back that were popular in the 90s. The 90s are coming back, and I'm very happy about it. I love this. You can dress it up. You could dress it down. You could wear like a pair of booties with it. You could wear a pair of sandals. It's super flowy, and it's very lightweight. So although it is long sleeves, it's very lightweight. So if you do wear it in the warmer weather, you guys will be completely fine. Next up, I have this three-piece set. It's a beautiful white lace like trench coat, and you can see it also has those sleeves. White lace shorts. They're high waist, and the crop top has a choker attached to it, which... I mean, I don't think chokers are going anywhere. I am personally obsessed with them. So I just love the combo of all of this. I have to find somewhere good to wear this because the problem is I always buy, like some of the stuff that I buy is like super cute that you obviously can't wear on like a day-to-day -day basis. I was constantly, oh, well, everything's falling. I was constantly saving like all my really cute outfits for like a special event. And then I realized two, three years later when I still had my special outfits untouched that I really don't go anywhere and I just need to make Brett take me out to dinner or just something along those lines just so I can wear some of my cute outfits. So this next dress I just got in the mail yesterday. And I know with Forever 21 stuff goes quick online so I'm hoping that it's still there because I thought this was so beautiful. So it's a maxi dress that crisscrosses in the front. The back has a crisscross all the way up and it's long, it's flowy, it has a slit in it. It's just literally so beautiful. I think this would be so cute paired with like a pair of flat sandals. You can even wear like nude high sandals could wear it as a day dress and keep it a little more casual or you can wear it out to dinner or anything like that so maybe for some it's a little too much for a day time look but I would totally wear this during the day next I have this blue and white striped off the shoulder kind of like a boyfriend shirt you can wear this with a pair of jean shorts a pair of jeans I don't think it's long enough maybe on me because I'm super short but something like this if it were a little longer you can even steal your boyfriend's button-down shirt you can wear it with one of those Corset belts, which I absolutely love. I know some people still don't like them, but just wait. I'm sure in a couple months they will grow on you. Um, but I would probably wear this tucked in with a pair of jean shorts and a pair of white sandals. So it lays off the shoulder and then it does have the long sleeve, but again, it's super lightweight. It's very beachy too. You could even throw this over a bathing suit, but I saw it on Forever 21 and I just needed it in my life. So next I have literally the cutest two piece in the world. I posted a blog post a couple months ago, probably last, I don't know, was it last summer? Um, with that jean corset, that denim corset. So I had like a white dress, denim corset, denim heels, and um, everyone loved the belt that I had, and I actually got it custom made from a website called TLZ La Femme, I believe that's how it's pronounced. 
Um, she designed two new two pieces and she sent them to me a couple of months ago now and I didn't even have a chance to wear them yet but of course about a week or two after I got them Kylie Jenner did a photo shoot and wore both of the two pieces that I got so I'm waiting to wear them um, I had them before she posted them but you know it's my own fault because when I get things I never wear it right away so I'll probably wait a little bit before I wear it because Everyone always thinks I'm copying them, but I think we just have very similar tastes. But anyway, so I really, really love this. It has like these long, flowy, big sleeves, and then it has a little mini skirt that matches. So I also got this exact two-piece in a nude, like, crochet look as well. So she sent me these two pieces, and she also sent me a couple more of the corset belts, which I absolutely love. So if you guys haven't heard of her, she hand makes everything. She's amazing. Go check out her website. Next up, I have this cute little cropped t-shirt. And it has a eye in sequins on the front, which I loved. It's, again, another simple crop top, but I figured with a pair of high-waist jean shorts, high-waist black shorts, high-waist black jeans, um, yeah, you can really wear kind of any bottom with it. I just thought it was super cute, casual, could throw it over a bathing suit, and I just loved that the eye was blue, so that's why. I mean, that's the real reason I got it. I was like, ooh, eyelashes and a blue eye. I need it. So this is next crop top. I was debating whether to wear this outfit today or this um, because I got a choker that matches this and then this crop top and then I also have a little jacket which I'll show you. So I'll probably end up wearing this tomorrow or the next day. It's Tommy Hilfiger. Well, I don't think it really is. I got it off of Etsy. Um, so yeah, it's definitely probably not a real Tommy Hilfiger shirt, but I loved it. I thought it was so cute. I would probably wear this with either like kind of like pants like this, maybe like baggy. Um, like the button on the side pants, or you could do black high-waist jeans. I feel like I always wear black high-waisted jeans. You guys need a good pair because I feel like they go with anything and everything. And the ones that I wear literally all the time, they're by Levi. All of these 90s brands that were huge in the 90s and the 2000s, they're coming back. And as I was saying, I had a jacket that matched. I got this vintage Tommy Hilfiger windbreaker jacket. I got this on ASOS Marketplace. So ASOS has a section where they have like vintage clothes, I don't know if it's like lightly worn, used, whatever it is, like it kind of smells a little bit honestly, but it's vintage so that's what you gotta do. So when I wear the bandeau top, I'll probably have this like open. And next up I have this Harley Davidson crop top, another crop top, I feel like whenever I do these videos I always show crop tops, but I... I just love crop tops, especially with spring and summer. They're just so easy. I got this actually at a thrift store. It's just like a vintage t-shirt. And on the back it says Harley Davidson, Memphis, Tennessee. So cute, simple, vintage. Love it. So this next bodysuit I wanted to show you guys because I got this from Bali. When we were in Bali, we did a little bit of shopping. And Brett wanted to buy it for me. So he was so sweet. And he bought this handmade bodysuit for me. It is so gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see the detail from here, but it's all hand beaded with sequins and the back is a little bit low. I definitely need to wear this probably in like one of my next videos before it gets too, too hot. It was pricey for sure, especially because some of the other shops we were going in were like very affordable. But if you guys are ever in Bali, the name of the shop, I'm sure she has other shops. It's called k and I. So this is like the little logo right there. Oh, next up I have this cute little velvet tank. They had a matching skirt to go with it and I had it in my cart, but you know what? I, I took it out because I'm like, realistically, I probably won't wear the skirt, like a little mini skirt with this little top. I'd probably wear this top with like a pair of like baggier pants. Um, I really don't know yet, but velvet is still in. In for spring, in for summer, and I think this color is just really, really pretty. I don't have anything velvet like in this same color, so have a try. Next up, I have this t-shirt dress. So you could wear it as a t-shirt with it like kind of tied up in the front or you could wear it as a dress. Sometimes I'll buy like band t-shirts and they definitely will not fit as a dress. So I believe this is even labeled as a dress. Yeah, it's called a t-shirt dress, so they made it a little bit longer. But band tees, I love them. They're easy to just throw on. You can put a pair of sandals, a pair of booties, really whatever you want. I mean, all winter I was wearing like thigh highs with them, but probably leave the thigh highs for the fall and the winter. Next up I have another t-shirt. This one is from Urban. There are little roses on it on the back as well. There's some roses and then on the sleeve. I just love anything with like an army print and just these colors together I love. So I thought it'd be really cool to wear this and wear like a bright orange lipstick with it and like have that pop of orange. 
Um, I bought it in an extra large because I was trying to make it a t-shirt dress. I don't know how it's going to look. I have to try it on first. But if not, then I'll probably just knot it up in the front. That's kind of what I always do. I either wear it as a dress, I'll tuck it in, even though Brett hates when I tuck things in, or I'll just put a little knot in the front and then it looks really cute. This next top is literally the cutest. I got it in black as well. It's just a little crop top with long sleeves, so it's off the shoulders. It's like a bardeau type of top with a knitted fabric. I'd probably just wear this with a pair of high-waisted ripped jeans and sneakers, or if you're going out, you can even wear heels. Okay, so next up I have this adorable two-piece. The sleeves have like super long ties, which I would tie into a bow. So it's a crop top with matching shorts. It came in a few colors, so I gotta see which ones are still in stock, but you could see they're just shorts with the ties down the side and then the matching top to go with it. How cute is this, guys? You can wear this out with a pair of heels or you could just wear it with a pair of sneakers and like a little baseball cap and keep it more casual for the daytime. Guys, guess what? Another crop top, shocking. It's this cute little yellow crop top. I believe this is from ASOS and I think you could tie it into a bow. I just tied it to get it onto the hanger. Again, high-waisted anything. Whenever I'm wearing crop tops, I feel like I always wear a high waist. Um, also because I'm so short, when I wear high-waisted things, it makes my legs look longer. So I feel like I have a long torso and shorter legs, so when I wear high-waisted stuff, it kind of like balances it out. So if you're short, try something out high-waisted if you haven't because it'll change your life. So next, I have another outfit that I can't wait to wear. I'm gonna be wearing it very soon. This is like a four-piece outfit, which you don't need to get every part of it, but it's this yellow jacket with matching yellow shorts. So it's in like that windbreaker material. And then I have a little cute sports bra underneath. So the shorts are a little high waist. You wear it with that. And then I also bought the matching underwear because they're high waisted underwear. And I'm obsessed with the yellow. I just thought it was like super different and bright. And yeah, I can't wait to try it on and see how it looks on me. But this was from Urban Outfitters as well. Lots of two pieces. Um, I feel like I've been obsessed with two pieces for years and years and years it makes life so much easier um people always say oh i have nothing to wear and i'm sure some of you are wondering do i still have those days where i'm like i have nothing to wear yes don't call me crazy but it's just like it's hard to pick out outfits and it's hard to figure out like what do i want to do tonight do i want to do pants do i want to do shorts do i want to do a skirt do i want to do a dress a romper so it's definitely very hard to figure out what to wear um, but with the matching separates, it makes your life a little bit easier, so that is why I always stock up on them. So I love, look how cute this is. This is from Urban. You can wear it as like a cover-up for a bathing suit. You could just wear it on a regular summer day. I just absolutely love the green and the pink. It's so bright. What kind of matches the pink I'm wearing right now? When I ordered it, I thought it was only the top, and I looked on the whole website. I couldn't find the shorts. So sometimes companies will like launch something and then a couple days later they'll release the other half to the matching set which is so annoying but it's definitely like a sales tactic to get you back on the site. So I ordered it anyway thinking it was just going to be the shirt and then I would get the shorts later on but it came and it was the set so I was really excited about that and I love, love, love the color of it. So next up I have this pretty pink romper. It's a crisscross back so it's laying weird on the hanger. Um, but it's this really pretty pleated material, it's stretchy material as well. It has the wide legs on the bottom, it fits really nicely, the back is open, it's like a crisscross back. You could pair this with a cute belt, a corset belt, a regular belt, or you can just wear it plain. So when I was shopping for like Bali and uh, Malaysia and all of that, I wanted to get some cute two pieces. I didn't know what the plan really would be as far as dinner and all of that stuff, but I wanted to have options. So I bought this, it's a skirt with two slits in the front. When I tried this on, you can't wear a bra with it, but what I did is I just put bathing suit padding in it, that way I could have a little bit of oomph. It's funny because a lot of people have been asking me if I've gotten a boob job lately, and no, I haven't. So I figured I'll film a new like boob hack video for you guys because Honestly, like my boobs are, they're not small, they're like medium, but I can make them look really big. So again, it's all about working with what outfit you're wearing and just working with what you got. So if you guys wanna see that video, comment below and let me know, cause I was thinking of filming it this week as well. So next I have this pink long t-shirt dress. It's like a very slinky type of material. I saw this on the site with, um, the girl had a corset on and then she had a pair of kind of like biker shorts with the lace on the bottom, so it looked so cute together, so that's why I picked it up. So yeah, 
It looks a little boring, but it's all about how you style it. Can we take a minute for this shirt right here? <sighs> it's so beautiful. So it has like that opal look to it. So this is all sequins. It's a crop top. Surprising. I feel like whenever I do these um, fashion hauls, I realize how much I buy of like the same thing. Like so many crop tops, but like never bottoms. So I need to start buying some bottoms. Actually, no, I don't need to buy anything. I have bottoms, but yeah, I'd probably wear this with maybe like a pair of high-waisted white jeans or maybe like white trousers. I'm trying to think what other color I'd wear with this. Maybe like lavender. I think I have a pair of lavender trousers, but as soon as I saw this and it was 50% off, I was like, done, need it, it's perfect. Um, it has a little bit of the flare sleeve, not as much as the others, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm obsessed. So this probably isn't a spring slash summer outfit, but the color is, and I live in sweatpants and sweatshirts, so I got this champion two-piece. Um, the sweats are just underneath, they're just purple. Whenever I travel, I just don't like when my skin touches anything in the airport or on the airplane because I have like a weird phobia of germs and I don't know. So I just always have a sweatshirt or something long sleeve with me. So I thought this would be like the cutest traveling outfit. It's actually the color of like my dining room walls downstairs. The top is a medium and then the bottoms are a small, I believe. So next I have this other outfit that I brought with me to Bali, but I never ended up wearing it because we only did dinner, I think, like two nights where um, like we got dressed up, so I will definitely be wearing this soon. So it's a beautiful black maxi skirt. It has two slits in the front and polka dots all over. It also has like two little pockets. So it's a bathing suit top that they showed with a bottom, but it's the same brand and they showed this skirt with this top and I thought it looked so cute together, but I absolutely love it. Like how cute are the polka dots? And it's a little bit short as well as far as like lengthwise, so I can't even wear heels with it, which is, I mean, fine. It's more like beachy, understandable, but if you guys are tall, this skirt will definitely be way too short for you guys. So I put it on with heels and it was like this much off the ground, which when I wear maxi skirts, I like when they touch the ground. So just a little heads up if anyone's looking to buy this. And then last but not least, I have this cropped sweatshirt from Forever 21. It has like these snaps up the sleeve, which they showed it kind of unsnapped, so you can have like your shoulder hanging out um, and then have the rest buttoned. And it comes with a matching skirt, like a little mini skirt. It's like in the same sweatshirt material. Can't find it right now. I do have it though. It's somewhere in the mess, but it's so it's like this cute crop sweatshirt with like a little sweatshirt mini skirt. And yeah, so it's very sporty and cute and I just thought it would be really cute for the springtime, I'll probably wear it honestly with some like lace up sandals or even sneakers. You can go either way with it. Again, it's really about how you want to style it. So I feel like I always have ideas on how I want to wear something and style it and then I'll put it on and then I'll change my mind completely. But it really just depends on I guess the mood I'm in, where I'm going and all of that good stuff. So these are some of my recent purchases. I know you guys were asking for a haul, so I hope you enjoyed. I definitely want to start doing some lookbooks. I just got some new camera equipment that will help keep everything really stable and everything like that. So hopefully, now that the weather's warmer, I can get back out and make it do more blog posts, more lookbooks, all that good stuff, because I know a lot of people were asking for more fashion. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Last week was super crazy. I got my eyebrows microbladed for the first time ever, so I wasn't able to put anything on them. I'm still not able to. I penciled them in just a little bit for this video, which as soon as I'm done, I'll wipe it off. So I'll update you guys on the microblading in a couple days. I want to see like how I really feel about it before I go into detail. But also, my best friend got engaged on Friday, so it was a crazy week just getting everything ready. I did vlog the experience, so if you guys want to see that vlog, let me know. I also have to make sure it's okay with her and everything, but it was such a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and in my next video, I will be announcing a huge, huge giveaway. What do you guys want the grand prize to be? My last giveaway, I flew out to meet the grand prize winners, and I did both their makeup, and we spent the day together, and it was literally so much fun. So let me know what you guys want, if you'd rather something like that, or if you guys want to win a vacation somewhere, or if you want to win like a MacBook. I'm up for ideas, and I have lots of makeup and goodies and stuff to give away as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.